Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gamma QSA. In this video, we are going to teach you how to become a better computer technician. So in this class, we are going to talk about troubleshooting theory. So if you don't know how to start uh, looking uh, for a computer, you know, for all the problems, so you're in a customer, uh, you have to solve uh, the problem. Yeah, there are many things that, that you can do, but here I'm going to teach you how you have to think in, in order to uh, work uh, properly and uh, in a way that will be uh, more uh, proficient. <laughs> so maybe you do these things or maybe you don't, uh, leave me a comment on the section uh, below. So. Uh, the first thing will be when you are uh, talking with the customer, uh, you, you can ask them, hey, uh, what, what is the problem? Uh, when did it happen? Um, let's say uh, for this scenario that the computer is not turning on or maybe the, the user uh, was working and suddenly the computer shut down by, by itself. Um, they try to turn it, off, uh, turn it on again and nothing happens. So uh, you say, okay. No problem. Uh, so maybe you check the breakers, or do you check the the outlet? Do you have current? Do you have electricity or something like that? Yeah. And the customer may say, Yeah, no, I don't know. Okay. So you may say you you have to uh, keep talking. Maybe I mean this is the uh, one case. It might be a virus or it may be uh, any other thing. So you have to think uh, about uh, those things. So you identify the, the, the problem. So, okay, the computer is not turning on. Okay, theory. The theory, it might be, okay, uh, maybe is the, the power supply. Um, that is the, the more common thing on, on computers. So uh, if you have that, that, that problem, you, you can grab one of the multimeters, and then uh, stick the, the tips on the outlet, and then that way you can find out if that is the, the problem or, or not. So uh, let's say that you went, you check the breakers, you check everything, the cable, uh, that everything is good. Um, maybe it's the power supply. So you, you're thinking, okay, the power supply. Now uh, we are going to jump in step number three. It will be test a theory. You have two options, uh, true or, or false. So you're going to test the power supply. So you replace it, you take it out, you stick it in the, the other one. Okay, we, we connect it and you say, okay, the, we change the power supply and say, okay, yeah, it's the power supply. We have to replace it, you replace it and everything works great, wonderful. But let's say that it's not the power supply. Let's say the, the, it's the motherboard or something like that. Okay, then you say, okay, it's not the power supply. Okay, false. And then I think it's the, the motherboard. Okay, we replace the motherboard and you, and you find out that the computer start working again and everything is great. Okay, and then we say it's true. And then we are going to uh, go to step number four. Action plan, solution. What will be the solution? We were, we're going to replace the motherboard or the power supply or whatever is the case. So that is uh, the, the next step. Uh, another thing, uh, the uh, step number five will be uh, uh, very, very fry, verify everything. So um, prevention. So what you have to do is uh, many people, um, some, cost, uh, some technician, they, they may say, okay, yeah, everything is working. I just replay the power supply and I'm done. Um, I'm get out of here. I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, so the customer start trying the computer. Maybe oh, now I don't have internet. Oh, the speaker are not working. Oh, the the frontal the USB on the front of this computer is not working, and, or in the back, the frontal USB is not working. Something like that. And then you say okay. <laughs> Let's verify everything. So that is why you have uh, step number five. That is what I recommend. If you if you need the the forms, I have a few forms. Or if you have a ticket system, or you have a CRM, or something like that, write it in your system. That way, you will be good. So prevention. So if you're thinking, okay, let's say this is the power supply. Okay, prevention. You will say, well, maybe you can say to the customer, yeah, I think this this power supply. Is uh, is unbranded, so it's very. I mean, the quality is very low, so that it might be why the the power supply uh, failed. So, I, what I recommend is to 
install or to purchase uh, this uh, power supply, I don't know, Thermaltech or maybe uh, OCC or maybe Corsair or something like that, you say, yeah, this power supply comes with five years of warranty, you don't have any problem, okay, that would be the solution. Also, I can offer you a UPS, it will be like, a, it is a battery backup, so in case you have an outage, uh, you can uh, work and save all your documents and everything in and it will have it will allow you to have an autonomy of five minutes ten minutes so you can do everything and if it is a search it will protect your your computer as well so that will be the the prevention so that is great uh, uh, step number six will be Document findings, action, and outcome. So you document everything. You start writing everything that, that happens. So you say, okay, yes, I check the the power the power supply. I replace it, and the the power supply the quality was very bad. So I install a new one. Great. I also install a UPS, and everything is great. So that is, will be the the action and the outcome. So okay, the outcome means that I check everything. Everything was working. The I have the signature of the of the customers. He's happy. Great. Wonderful. Uh, this is very important because if the customer calls you, I don't know, maybe in six months or maybe in a year, and they say, hey, yeah, I have the. the uh, another problem, the computer is not turning on again. I mean, you go and say, okay, but yeah, but here we, we replace the, the power supply already. If the, if the power supply is faulty, okay, you replace it and not charge, that is great. But let's say it's something else and the customer may say, you may find out that the motherboard is the, the problem now. You say, okay, we, repl we have to replace the motherboard. And the customer say, okay, let's just do it. Or maybe in three months more, the customer say, hey, I have a problem with the computer. It's kind of slow or it's not working properly or something like that. The customer may say, yeah, I have some problem. It's not working properly. Okay. Uh, and you find out that the hard drive is failing or something like that. And you say, oh, yeah, but this computer is like 10 years old. And you may say, yeah, we have to, I would recommend to replace the whole computer. So if you, if we, if you replace the whole computer, that will be the, the, the what, that is what I would recommend uh, because it makes no sense to keep uh, replacing everything. Uh, you will keep, uh, still have an old, com uh, old computer or I don't know, whatever is the case. It's, it's something that I'm making it up. So... If you keep everything, uh, you can you can decide okay uh, what you're going to do or not. Another thing is, let's say that you're sick or maybe you start working uh, with another customer or whatever, and another technician comes and they they check with this computer and they say, oh yes, uh, John John was working here with this computer. He changed the power supply. Um, I don't know, the motherboard as well. So yeah, it was like a year ago. So, okay, uh, we he didn't have any other issue than this. Okay, we are going to continue or maybe we are going to replace everything or whatever is, is the case. So that is why it's very important to have something like that. So if you can have some kind of ticket system or maybe a CRM or whatever you use, you can uh, make a document about everything that was done in, in, the, in the customer. So uh, depending on the case, that is what you have to do. I hope it was uh, useful. Remember, if this is, is the first time you're seeing this video, you can go to the playlist so you can watch uh, from the beginning. Remember to, su uh, to subscribe to my channel and click on like and see you next time.